Hello and welcome. Please pause this video and try the problem on your own. This problem says write the value of x in the equation below. So I see this equation, I see that x is in our exponent over here, it's missing. We want to find that. And in this equation, 66 to some power equals 1 over 66 to the third. So this for me, it might seem a little intimidating, so we'll do some wishful thinking here and kind of scale this problem down. I'm going to make a new problem to think about what's going on. 66 is such a large number to work with that I'm going to use a smaller number, let's say 6. Right? So 6 to what power? I'm going to flip around the equation as well. Equals 1 over 6 to the third. Now this might not give us the direct answer, but might give us uh, a glimpse uh, into a pattern that we can then apply to this problem. Well, I know that, um, let's go back to 6 to the 0. That equals just 1. And I know that 6 to the negative first, then equals 1 divided by 6. Right, negative exponents refer to division starting at 1. 6 to the negative 2 equals 1 divided by 6, divided by 6. And then finally, 6 to the negative 3 equals 1 divided by 6 divided by 6 divided by 6. Now I'm going to stop here because I recognize that this fract fraction right here is equivalent to this statement right here. 1 divided by 6 divided by 6 divided by 6. Now if you're not convinced of that, let me show you. Here, if you have 1 divided by 6 divided by 6, Dividing by 6 is the same thing as multiplying by 1 over 6. Those are equivalent. You could test it out. Try a number like 12. 12 divided by 6 is 2. And 12 times 1, 6 is also 2. And this is easier to work with for me because we're now writing division in, with multiplication. And multiplication has a lot more flexibility to it. When we multiply here 1 by all of our numerators, right? we multiply our fractions across. And you can even think of 1 as just 1 over 1. If that makes it easier for you. The numerator, the product of all those 1's is 1, and the product of our denominators is 216. Um, but we don't need to think of that, we can just say it's 6 times 6 times 6, which is 6 to the third, which is equivalent to the fraction that we had up here, right? So those are equal. Um, and how does it help us? Well, in this case, 6 to the x, right, would equal 1 over 6 to the third. So what exponent gave us that? And that was right here, negative 3. So x would be negative 3. Now I feel like right this, this helps us set up the problem because whatever 66 is, so the third, negative third power, whatever the actual number is, we don't even need that. We just have this structure here to help us. Because instead of 6 to the 0, we can think of 66 to the 0 being 1. Then 66 to the negative 1 being 1 divided by 66. right? And then six to the, 66 to the negative 2 being 1. 1 divided by 66 divided by 66, and then 66 to the negative 3 as 1 divided by 66 divided by 66 and 66, right? And then we have the same thing happening here, right? Here, we, instead of dividing by 66, we can multiply by 1 over 66 three times. And then instead of computing that exactly, we could say that that's 66 to the third power. So here, 66 to the negative third also gave us 1 over 66 to the positive third, and x, again, is negative 3. So here, um, we're reminded of one of the most basic laws of exponents, that 66 to the negative third power is the same as 1 over 66 to the third. Thanks.